Caspa or ICP? Which one is a better hold at this point in time? Caspa has the upside potential community and hype. ICP has AI, utility, and a massive team. This was the hardest video I have ever had to make because I'm so torn. I think both projects have amazing upside and a bright future, but there can only be one for the purpose of this video. I'll be taking into account three factors for my decision. One is going to be price potential, two, real-world applications, and three, technology. Whichever side of the coin you land on, all I ask is you keep an open mind and push your biases away because this is exactly what I'm going to be doing for this video. So hit the like button. Let's get started. Let's first start with price potential. Uh, whose chart looks better? It's pretty simple. Caspa's chart looks better. Let's take a look at Caspa's chart. So Caspa on the daily here. You can see a nice cup and handle forming on the Caspa chart here. Uh, going all the way back to February of this year as we rounded out a bottom towards that 10 cent level and now we are finally breaking out of the handle part of this cup and handle now this measured move if we do break to the upside should and if this does happen of course trading is all about probabilities uh if the breakout point was right here where it started going up we should see a price appreciation up to around 23.46 cents for caspa we remove these drawings and if we throw on our ichimoku cloud see where we are on caspa on the daily as far as trends we are obviously in a very bullish trend here as the cloud is green, price is trading above the 21-day EMA, although volume is decreasing. We are kind of right in the middle of the road as far as RSI, Relative Strength Index. So not oversold, not overbought. Caspa's chart looks great. Let's take a look at Caspa's uh, price action, currently 16.7 cents with a uh, market cap of $4.55 billion, or excuse me, $4 billion, 4.55 was its maximum capacity now so what are some of the catalysts for price appreciation for caspa uh one is the community it's got a massive community every time we put out a caspa video every time we put out a caspa post on x it always gets a lot of engagement a lot of views a lot of likes a lot of comments you also have krc 20 tokens i don't know if they're krc 20 but krc tokens are coming in the very near future which we did do a video on this uh, our last caspa video i'll drop the link in the description so you can watch that after this one um, and then Caspa has the shiny new toy narrative, right? Uh, it's the new blockchain. Uh, it's got all the narratives going for it. No VC funding, fair launch, great team. Jonathan Sampolinski, founder of Ghost Egg. And so it's got a lot of things going for it. The new shiny toy in the cycle. Could it crack the top 10? A lot of people believe so. Top 10, potentially, two, three dollars, yes. Let's take a look at some of the tokenomics here on Caspa. Uh, so you have a circulating supply of around 23.91 billion tokens, which is around 83% of their max supply. And max supply meaning there is a cap. So there will only ever be 28.7 billion tokens in existence. We take a look at distribution. Uh, so the top 100 addresses are 33% control the top 100 addresses, which is a lot more, I don't want to say decentralized, but a lot more spread out than some of the other tokens. Take a look, for example, Toncoin, 75 plus percent, 10 wallets hold 75 plus percent of the token allocation. We take a look at emissions, right? So Caspa is a proof of work and it does have essentially, I don't want to call it a halving, but a reduction in supply minting every month. And so you can see here from this chart here from uh, Caspa or KAS.FYI, you can take a look for yourself. See the next reduction is on July 5th. Uh, with the next reward going from 104 Caspa tokens for every block mined to 98. So it is essentially deflationary. Uh, also, again, as mentioned, no VCs, right? No VCs pumping, no Ponzinomics, no pre-sale, no ICO. Everyone who got in, got in at the very beginning. Kind of reminds you of Bitcoin, which a lot of people refer to Caspa as Bitcoin 2.0. And then one of the most important things here is going to be liquidity, so once people find out about Caspa, how easy is it going to be for them to go out and buy it? Let's take a look at where Caspa is listed currently as far as tier one and top exchanges. Uh, you have, you can argue Mexi, Bybit, but those are mainly for leverage and futures traders. Uh, KuCoin is the one that stands out here the most, although they did just leave the United States. So the big thing we're missing here is the big U.S. exchanges as U.S. is the largest capital markets in the world. But crypto is global so it's got that going for it. Uh, there, we're, we are waiting on a Binance listing here soon, unless something went awry. Did do a video on that as well a couple of uh, Casper videos ago. You should go watch that as well. Um, and then are we going to get a Coinbase listing? Are we going to get a Crypto.com? 
So these are all things, and maybe Gemini, these are all things that we don't have yet that we're going to need if we want to see a massive rally for Caspa. Now, let's talk about ICP's price potential. On the contrary to Caspa, ICP's uh, chart doesn't look very bullish at the moment. Does not mean we're not bullish on the project. It's just the price action does not look bullish. We did break below this massive head and shoulders here on the daily um, daily chart for ICP. We throw in our Ichimoku cloud. You can see we are clearly in a downtrend on the daily. If you zoom out to the weekly, we are uh, at a very, very key level on the weekly chart here. As you can see here, we are getting ready to test the upper range of this cloud, which puts us right around $9.40. It is going to be a key level to hold. If we break below that and the cloud turns uh, red on the weekly, that is not very good for short-term price action on ICP. Now let's talk about some of the catalysts for ICP, right? Long lockup options, right? Less sell pressure from holders. You can lock it up for eight years. Uh, interoperability, right? ICP gives protocol access to Bitcoin, Ethereum, soon to be Solana and more coming. I right, talk about a big gap from current price to all-time high. New retail investor might come in, take a look at the all-time high chart, say, wow, this thing got to $700 and it's only at 15, 20, 25, whatever the, whatever the price is at the point where they look at it. And they might say, look, there's a lot of ground to be made up, not maybe knowing the backstory of how that, that ICO and the price was manipulated by people like Sam Bankman fried and Alameda Research. And they might say, hey, let me invest in the gap. Let me try to make up this gap here. And so you have that going for it as well. As far as tokenomics on ICP, um, could be better, right? It's not the it's not the best part of the project, I'll tell you that, as it does have an infinite max supply. So there's no hard cap like there is on Caspa. You have current total supply of 519 million tokens with about 90% of those already circulating, coming to around 464.9 million tokens circulating. We take a look at the uh, ICP vesting here. Uh, you take a look here, there is still... A big unlock that is currently happening and is going to go through middle of next year as seed and private sale investors continue to get their tokens unlocked. And you can see here the next unlock is happening on July 11th, where around 0.46% of the total supply will be unlocked, right around 2.37 million ICP tokens. A lot of people from the community, a lot of analysts are saying, hey, this is part of the reason that price suppression is what we're seeing with ICP due to the fact that, hey, a lot of unlocks, infinite supply. And so that is one thing that people say about ICP. But as we get into the bull market, as ICP onboards more, as it gets into more ecosystems, as it brings more people on board, as it continues to do what it's been doing, running AI and everything, uh, that's going to matter less token unlocks and sell pressure. It's going to be so many buyers on the other side. Let's take a look at liquidity, right? So we showed you Caspa. Caspa didn't really have Coinbase, the big ones. ICP does. ICP has Binance, ICP has Coinbase, ICP has OKX, it has Kraken, it has KuCoin. So a lot more liquidity for the Internet Computer Protocol, which of course, if you see ICP, I can go to the wall, the uh, the uh, app that's already on my phone, and for a lot of Americans, it's Coinbase, say, hey, look, I can just go to Coinbase and buy this token. So the price potential edge in this scenario goes to Caspa. So we're at 1.0 Caspa right now. Let's talk about real world applications, right? Let's start with Caspa again. Caspa smart contracts currently not available right now. We did mention the KRC token standard is coming soon. But as of right now, uh, since we don't have any smart contracts live, we're going to talk about uh, potential and hypotheticals, right? So many see Caspa as a better version of Bitcoin. So we can expect projects and founders eagerly awaiting to build on Caspa. Lots of layer two solutions and hype for Bitcoin. We're seeing that on BTC. You can do it bigger, better, and faster on Caspa. Uh, and we can assume something similar that we're seeing on the Bitcoin side coming into Caspa because they're pretty much the same, but Caspa is much better. Talk about speed and security, right? At 100 blocks per second, which is what Caspa is trying to get to, it's currently at 1, it's getting to 10. The next step after that is going to be 100. Um, there won't be a proof-of-work layer 1 that can compete with Caspa, period, right? And proof-of-work, of course, why is this important? It's seen as more decentralized and secure than the other consensus mechanisms like proof of stake by the wide layer of developers and community members. Speaking of community members, it has a very, very strong community. Why does that matter? If you are ready to launch a project, if you're a founder and you're ready, you're excited to launch your NFT project or your, your meme coin, whatever the case may be, you do not want to launch into an ecosystem where the community is weak because you're not going to get support out the gates. Caspa does not have a weak community. 
as a one of the strongest communities in the entire cryptocurrency space. So uh, Caspa's community will surely support uh, the ecosystem as uh, projects and developers start to build on it. And we do have one thing, right? One tangible, uh, essentially real world application that is not here yet, but this is from Fusion. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. You can see here from their website, uh, Fuse RWA and D-Pin power grids to enhance peer-to-peer -peer energy trading and microgrids and pioneer green energy solution. Talk about uh, their, their partnership with Caspa here. And so are we going to see more of this? I believe so for all the aforementioned reasons. Now let's talk about Internet Computer Protocol. Let's start with their ecosystem. You can see here, you go to their website, internetcomputer.org slash ecosystem. You can see there's well over 250 projects that are currently live on the Internet Computer Protocol. Um, it's, it's amazing what it is doing. It's just extremely undervalued right now. We go here from their ecosystem report, facts and figures, 239 teams that raised grant funding in 2023 from 41 different countries, around $6.25 million worth of grants were dispersed in 2023. And you can see here the acceptance rate over the last going back to 2021 for the Internet Computer Protocol. And down here it talks about the types of developer grants. And you can see here going into 2023, we saw uh, a big rise in decentralized AI and canister development kits. We know the canisters for Bitcoin. We know the EVM. We know Solana's coming. Which ecosystem is going to be next, allowing ICP to get its tentacles into more different ecosystems? We also have this as well, gaming and metaverse, something that's on ICP. Some projects here from the ecosystem report, Inside Dark Studio, uh, Cosmic Crafts, MLO. Now, I have not played those. This doesn't mean that I am saying uh, these are good projects. I have not reviewed them. But hey, these are projects that are currently live on ICP versus speculating what we're going to see on Caspa. Take a look here at the total value lock for Internet Computer Protocol coming in at $78.8 million. It did get to an all-time high of around $110 million dollars in TVL. So we're not too far off. And as the ecosystem grows and everything I mentioned, this number should go up. And the big narrative ICP has going for it that's going to drive, I believe, a lot of the use case utility and uh, users on the protocol is going to be AI. So ICP pioneering the future decentralized AI development. This is from uh, Yahoo Finance. Dominic Williams, founder and chief scientist of Definity, recently showcased a large language model deployed on the internet computer protocol this demonstration highlights the unique capability of ICP to support fully on-chain AI deployment. So obviously when we're talking about real world, what's happening now versus what we think can happen, the edge here goes to ICP. So we're currently at a dead heat here, right? As of right now where it stands, price action looks better for Caspa. Potential for the future in this bull market. I would give that edge to Caspa. On the real world applications right now, I give you the SU ICP. So it all comes down to technology, right? So as mentioned earlier in the video, Jonathan Sampolinski, the founder of Caspa, created the Ghost Dag protocol, which again, go up to over 100 blocks per second. Just to put that into perspective, it takes 10 minutes to mine one Bitcoin block, just one. And with Caspa, you're going to be able to do up to 100 blocks per second in the future, potentially maybe more. This is something that Caspa pioneered you're seeing some other protocols start to use this consensus mechanism being the ghost tag protocol you have secure proof of work scalable and it is decentralized right so solving that blockchain trilemma a lot of people including myself have called it bitcoin on steroids right so there's no arguing the technology behind caspa is absolutely phenomenal but is it better than the technology that icp has let's talk about it so icp runs on what's called a threshold relay consensus. If you're not familiar, not to get too into the jargon and technicalities, but it combines cryptographic techniques and decentralized protocols to achieve secure and scalable consensus. And that is a big word, scalable, because ICP is infinitely scalable. Utilizes threshold signatures and decentralized key generation to enable nodes to collaboratively and securely agree on the network state. It is the first third generation blockchain Talk about sustainability, scalability, as mentioned, ICP, infinitely scalable. Speed, doing up to 3 million transactions per second in its canister smart contracts. And of course, you have interoperability with the chain key fusion, dipping into the Bitcoin ecosystem, Ethereum, Solana, as mentioned before, but not as a bridge or a wrapped asset, but on the actual protocol level of said altcoins and ecosystems. 
as mentioned, chain key fusion, right? What is going to be next? Are we going to see ICP running on Near, running on Cosmos, on Avalanche, on Cardano? How far can the ICP reach go? Uh, some other things to note here as far as technology, 100% on-chain cloud storage. No need for Oracle as everything is done on-chain. The unique thing about ICP is the front end and the back end are all hosted 100% on-chain on the blockchain. And it has a reverse gas model as well, making it a little easier to onboard and for users who are playing around in the ecosystem. So with everything being said, who has the edge on technology? Is it Caspa or is it ICP? Let me know in the comment section. For me, right now, the edge goes to ICP. There is no other blockchain that is going to be able to host the level of AI and AI ran smart contracts than ICP at this current moment. That is not to say that moving on in the future, as new projects come on, as new money is raised, maybe new technologies are discovered. Doesn't mean that it won't happen. But as of right now, show me another blockchain that can do what ICP does in a decentralized AI space. I find it hard to believe you're going to be able to find one. So again, this was extremely hard. And I do want to clarify again, I am extremely bullish on Caspa. I am also extremely bullish on ICP. But for the sake of this video, the winner here, guys, is ICP. But you cannot go wrong having exposure to both. Let us know in the comment section, are you Team Caspa or are you Team ICP? Also, come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.